continuing coverage of the postseason. I'm James Cebulski. Game three is set to go down. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Good solid check and he loses control of it. Works it across to Michelli. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. The Sabres have it from their own end. Sends a pass over. Moves it to Tuck. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Schmaltz plays it now. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Here's a short pass to Schmaltz. And he stopped that one. Here's a blast. Oh, did he ever block him in the open ice? You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. Moves it quickly over to Michelli. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Handles the puck at the point, and that caroms off a body in traffic. Gunther's moving the puck through his own zone. Slip feed. And the puck skips away after that move. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Buffalo's got control of it now from their own end. Passes it to power. Boom! <laughs> wow, what a thunderous hit there! Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Buffalo's won the draw. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Knocked away. With the blast. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Buffalo's got it, and they're on the attack. Steps into the line of fire and blocks that. Here he is, shot right in front. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the score. And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. He gets his shot off in this coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Buffalo's drawn first blood here in this one by getting on the board first. Uh, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to play with the lead, not behind it, James. And now it's what they do next. They've created some energy for themselves. Now it's about continuing to attack and find the back of the net again. Arizona's caught along the wall. Stick handling in his own zone. Takes the feed and center and moves up ahead. Arizona's got a hold of the puck now. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. The Sabres have it now. Buffalo's got it across the line. There's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Trying to gain a step. of the period. The Sabres have taken a 1-0 lead. Arizona's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Gives them nothing in front. Bryson's got the puck in his own zone. Sends it quickly to Oposo. He got all of that one. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve pucks. And man, can they deliver bone-crushing hits. Shot! And he was ready for that one. 
Buffalo's got the puck along the boards. Excellent stick work on the play. Up along the wing. Here they are on the attack. He scores! Jason Sucker! What a beautiful play as they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage. Odd man rush, perfectly executed. Speed, puck movement, and of course, finish. More than half the frame has been played here. It's all tied up. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. The Sabres played along the wing. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Quick feed to Zucker. Here's a chance. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. The Sabres move it in. Quick pass to Skinner. And gets a piece of him with the trapper. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Keller's tape-to-tape -tape zone ability is when he sends firm, accurate passes to keep the play going for his club. That means a key blue liner, not just because he defends so well, but because he can add additional offense. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there! Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Fires it! Too much congestion blocks the shot. Officials are in position and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Buffalo's won the face-off deep in their own end. Petrkas gained the line and on the attack. Quick pass across to Greenway. Here's the puck. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Puck scooped up by Cousins. And that's broken up. The Coyotes have it now. Slides the puck ahead to Keller. Moves it to Schmaltz. The Coyotes gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Wide to the net, he missed. Well, you recognize that it's a game of inches, James, and this is on full display right here. This is a great shot. Two on one, here we go. Here's the shot. Denied on the play. Oh, wow. Oh, turns it aside once again. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Takes a shot. Spectacular save on the play. Centering pass. Another pass. Oh, and he keeps it here. Buffalo's got it in their own zone. Feeds the puck to Thompson. Shot, and he puts that one aside with ease. Handles the puck. Oh, and another big stop. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Oh, talk about finishing your check. Wow. Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. Here's a feed in front. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Man, James, he's the benefactor of a great passing play. I mean, incredible vision to be able to land that puck right on his stick. But then he's got to do something with it, right? He's got to read where the goaltender is, and he's got to hit the back of the net. Arizona's taken a one-goal lead here in this opening stanza. How does this now change the complexity? Uh, I think the coach wants to manipulate their bench now that they have dictated pace, James. But if you're an elite athlete, you're always pushing for more. One certainly isn't enough. You don't have enough runway to sit back and say, hey, we're going to coast this one in. 
And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Quick shot, and that goes off a player. Quick pass to Skinner. Good stand-up hit. Puts it on net, turns him away. Picked up along the boards by Power. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Arizona's moving it up the ice. Buffalo's got possession of the puck. Moves it over to power. The Coyotes take possession on the neutral zone. There's a hit, and he's trying to leave everything out there on the ice tonight. The Sabres will play it in their own end. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Gunther's had such an impressive night offensively. You know that's his wheelhouse as he loves to have the puck on his stick. He creates, he's confident with it. And he's got a multi-point game. Knocked away with the stick. Thunderous collision. Look at the end result. He's on his own bench. Yeah, and this is tough to handle whether it's on your opponent's bench or yours. You know why, James? It's because you weren't able to stand your ground and now you're over the boards. Teed up and turned away on his part. Receives the pass. Arizona's got the puck here in the open ice. Good hit on the play. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Wax it into the offensive zone. Battle along the boards. Takes control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Cousins. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Dumps it in. Arizona's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Kraus. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Gets in front of it. Quick feed to Greenway. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And there's the save. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Rocks him on the play. Break away. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a one stop by Lieutenant. They've really got him on their heels here now. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Shot. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Arizona's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Gergensen wins the faceoff in the offensive zone. Slides it across to Rizichka. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he just couldn't properly connect with that shot. Gergensen crosses the line and is on the attack. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Takes the feed. With possession along the wall. Quick feed down low. Off his stick. My goodness, what a save by Lieutenant. Oh, they do it again. Handles the pass. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. He's got a stop. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking and makes that save. Here's a shot. A oh, fantastic save by Lukanen. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Buffalo's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Tuck. The Sabres have it in the offensive end. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important. There's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. What a hit on the play! Oh my! Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags him. Knows full so well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Moves it to Clip. 
dropped him. Olafson's going to play it against the half wall. And sends it just out of reach. Here's a short pass to Darlene. And that's knocked away by Olafson. Grabbed along the board by Quinn. Back to the blue line. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Late goings of this period. The Coyotes are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Arizona's got the puck. And he takes the feed. Gaining momentum along the wing. Taken by Dolly. Oh, he rocked him on the play. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Quick shot. And he gets in front of that rocket. Intercepted in the offensive end by Paterka. Chance in front. What shot. Moves it quickly over to Gunther. Arizona's got the puck against the boards. Huge close save by Lukanen. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. The Coyotes have been rewarded for all their scoring chances tonight as they carry the lead late in this second period. Takes the feed at the point. The Sabres look to start the transition game. Knocked away by German. Arizona's moving it all in the wing. Gets the puck in deep. Buffalo's got the puck. Slides it across to Cousins. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Drives to the sweet spot. Stop! What a save here! Gliding up to the face-off dots here. They take possession as he locks him up off the face-off. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Officials have dropped the puck for the third period, let's go. Passes on over to Power. Tux lugging the puck. Into the offensive end now. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, he gets a blocker on him, what a stop by Andrew. Schmaltz carries the puck in his own zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. And the puck's kicked free. And that's a great heads-up play by Tuck. Picks up the puck in his own end. And now it's grabbed by Thompson. Ingram's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Coyotes lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Answers the call there. Angles it over to Gunther. Puck grab by Jersey. Moves it around along the half wall. Tosses it to Skinner. Tries to the crease. Oh, sensational stop with the stick by Ingram. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Arizona's on the attack. Buffalo's gained possession along the boards. The Sabres will play it to the offensive zone. Pushes it across to Olafson. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Fires it on net. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and he hit has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save.
Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Nice job tying up his opponent. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Clifton. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Arizona's got the puck in the defensive end. Puts it in deep. Buffalo's got a hold of it along the wall. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Slides the puck down low. Great read with the stick. Oh, what a hit along the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Oh, there's one more. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time this team starts working in front of him. Takes the feed. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Shot! That one's off the blocker! Buffalo's got it in their own zone. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Tries to get the puck to Bugstad. Through center along the wing. Sends it in deep. Buffalo's got the puck along the wall. Handles the pass at center. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Oh, All alone! Oh, he comes up with a big stop there! Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. More than half the period left to play. It's a 2-1 game. The Coyotes win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Broken up by Johnson. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Denies him! Ingram's able to deny that scoring chance right from the slot area, James. That's a beautiful one. It's a low-scoring affair out there, and not for the lack of entertainment and high-quality chances. Just both teams unable to finish when they get into the wheelhouse around the goaltender. This can be extremely frustrating. And nonetheless, they just got to take a breath and find a way to finish. Here's a chance in front! Scores! What a finish on the play! Well, hockey is a game of inches. If the pass isn't on the tape, if it's in your feet, all of a sudden you're fumbling for it, and that gives the coverage time to defend you. But this one, it's right on the money, and the goal is a result. The Coyotes are now up by two here in the back half of this third period. Man, this is a good position to be in. Uh, it's the best position to be in, and you don't want to give any life to your opponents. You have to make sure that you're pounding pucks, you're on them first. Listen, if you're forechecking, they don't get the puck. Attack. The Sabres gain control of the puck against the wall. Loses his balance on the play. Quick feed to Tuck. And that goes off course off a body. Arizona's across the blue line. Buffalo's looking to break out. Now a quick pass to Thompson. The Coyotes start winning this game in part because of their second line that has been really effective. It's kind of a layered approach. When you can get depth scoring and secondary scoring, you know your team has a chance to be successful. Picked up along the wall by Gunther. Denied by the goaltender. Tries to feed it over to Thompson. Keeps the hold of it on the play. The Coyotes move the puck in the defensive zone. Great reach by Greenway. And a great save! Ingram's faced a lot of shots tonight, James, and he's been dialed in and made the necessary saves, but his team's been excellent in front of him, generating some offense and a reason why they have a lead. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. Cousins setting up against the wall. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Cousins gets a thumbs up to try anything he wants offensively. That's how gifted and creative he is. But as he does this move, he gets a little too nifty. He might have wanted to keep it a little simpler as he's unable to get by. And that's picked up in the defensive end. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. And now he moves it quickly to Kraus. Buffalo's got a hold of the puck now. Takes a shot. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career. The Sabres 
have suddenly put themselves into striking distance to even things up here in the third. And it's tough when you're on the other side of this. You can feel the wave coming and you're not sure how to stop it. So they have to find a way to continue the pace and put them on their heels and just attack the net. Slides the puck to Bugstad. Now that can go out there and provide some energy for your team. They just did it. Here in the late goings of the period, the Coyotes now lead by two. Arizona's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that faceoff. Here's a shot! Big time stop! Here they come on the attack. Shot! Great save! Arizona's got the puck along the boards. Keller's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a chance! Snag with the glove by Lukanen! Now this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. Keller's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. There's the whistle as the net comes off. They've got the extra attacker out here for the faceoff. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. And we put it just off the post and in. Well, that's a real sneaky one that people get to under James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. He's got the puck on a string here, and I don't think that his opponent knows how to defend him because he is just magic when it's on his stick. But this time he elects to move the puck versus take the shot. Catches everyone off guard, including the goaltender. The Sabres need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail in the third. And off the draw center, they take control of the puck. Quick pass to top. That's good by Ingram. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Empty net. you got to anticipate an aggressive draw here. An aggressive draw is something they've worked on in practice. They look for the quick win with the extra attacker. Moves it to Robinson. Here's a shot. Oh, he gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Big draw coming up with the extra attacker on the ice. The Coyotes win the draw on their own end. Directs it on over to Keller. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. A strong team effort tonight leads them to victory, and they take a 2-1 series lead. Well, that's a huge win to get the 2-1 lead, but even more critical is the next game, James. With that 2-1 lead, that game can mean the series tied, or they have a two-game lead. And you know what happens when you got two-game lead? Your opponent starts tightening their sticks because they are behind the eight ball. So it's all about pressure now and seeing if they can continue to respond. Well, I certainly had a great time. And from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks so much for spending your time with us here this evening. And we will see you at the next playoff game.